Get ready to enhance the accessibility and engagement of your content with just a few simple steps. This video is divided into four segments. Generating captions and subtitle for the video. Understanding how captions and subtitle file formats like VVT, SRT and SVV function. Adding captions and subtitle to the video. Styling captions and subtitle using CSS. I have provided timestamps for your convenience so you can quickly navigate to the part that interests you. Without further ado, let's start. Hello and Namaste everyone. This is Jitsar with Coding Design. Welcome to our channel. If you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Last year, I have posted this video on video playlist gallery, which was similar to Udemy, and there were so many positive responses. I have gone through all the comments, and few of them were related to how to add captions and subtitle to the HTML video. So keep in mind that. Now let's talk about how to generate captions and subtitle. If you have your own YouTube channel, then you might have uploaded your video. So YouTube they do provide auto-generating captions and subtitle feature, so you can edit that. If you have your own separate file for subtitles, then you can upload that file or you can download that auto-generated subtitle. So I am downloading these subtitles. But if you don't have YouTube channel, there are so many online tools that helps to generate captions and subtitles for your video. So you can generate that as well. And also there are different tools that can convert your captions and subtitles files of different formats. Now let's take a look at the caption and subtitle file that we have downloaded from YouTube. As you can see, YouTube provides SVV file format for your captions and subtitles. This code it represents the starting time and this code it represents the ending time and these two time codes they are separated by comma that represents the time code duration and within new line you will be able to provide text for your caption. Let's deep dive in. So these three digits after point it represents the milliseconds and after that there is two digits that represents seconds which has the range value from 0 to 59 and same goes for the minutes and that starting code represents the hour and by the way as soon as when milliseconds reach to 999 just after one millisecond we will reach to one second you can see it's really simple and easy to edit it but the downside is that it's not compatible with wide range of video players and platforms so it's easy to convert into a vvt file or which is also known as wave vvt or you can call it wave video text tracks so now let's convert this svv file into vvt file format for that within this subtitles folder let's create this vvt file and all the vvt file it starts with this keyword wave vvt and with a new line you can just copy everything and paste it there you can provide caption number which are optional it works in the same manner except that comma instead of that comma you can give their double dash along with that greater than symbol and that's it and if you talk about SRT file, it's pretty much the same as VVT file, but this file it doesn't start with web PVT. You can remove that. And instead of that point after which the milliseconds starts, instead of that point, we'll give comma. So that's only the difference. Although TTML file supports CSS styling, it's challenging to edit and manipulate it. And talking about SRT files, they don't support styling, they are just plain text subtitle files. This is where VVT files stand out when it comes to flexibility and compatibility. Not only are they simple to edit, but they also offer support for CSS styling and work seamlessly with a wide range of modern video players and platforms. This is the reason why I'm using VVT file in this video. Now let's talk about how to add this VVT file as your captions and subtitle to your video player or you can say HTML video. For that you can say I have already created HTML file within that it's a basic HTML code and I think it's better to change the title. For the title I'm giving adding captions and subtitle to HTML video with CSS styling. Now within your body tag you can create video element and within that video element let's give the source tag with the help of which we'll be providing our source of video as you can see within same folder i do have another folder named videos and within that i do have video name b1.mp4 so you can provide that same file path and for our type you can give video slash mp4 file and this one is important okay with the help of fly server extension i'm opening this html file within our browser so it is important to run your html file within your local server or any other server otherwise you won't be able to add captions and subtitle to your html video in your browser you can see okay it seems like it's a picture 
let's go back to the html file for the video element you can provide extra attribute which is called controls now you will be able to get that controllers with the help of which you can control your video developing responsive website similarly you can provide other attributes something like autoplay which will help you to automatically play your video without pressing that play icon developing responsive website can be a major pain point for many designers and if you want to mute your video you can provide attribute to mute it and also you can provide another attribute which is called loop with the help of which you will be able to play your video continuously as you can see in our browser our video element that is totally overflowing so let's give the proper styling for that as you can see i have already created a styled css file just below the title tag let's give the link for our styled css file Within that, when it comes to styling captions and subtitles, we'll go detailed. Okay, but right now it's just a basic CSS code, so I'm not explaining it. So for the video, as you can see, I have given the height of 80 vh, and based on that aspect ratio, we'll be able to maintain our width. And for our body, we have given this flexbox code, which helps to bring your content exactly at the center of your browser. Now in your browser, you can see this is exactly what I want. We have mute our video, so you can unmute that. Utilize media query for specific breakpoints when the layout. For our video element, we have given the source tag with the help of which we have given source for our video and the file format was mp4. So your video player or the browser, if it doesn't support that file format, then you can give and the file format which is called webm. And also you can provide other file formats as well, something like mob. But if you have just single file format file, then it's not necessary to give this different sources of file. Within video tag, you can directly provide the source of your file. Now let's add caption for our video. For that, we need track tag. Again, within that track tag, you can provide the source of our captions and subtitles file. So I'm providing that same VTT file that we have created just a moment ago. And you need to provide this attribute, which is called default. With the help of this attribute, your caption will automatically turn on while you play your video. In your browser, did you see that? Developing responsive website can be a major pain point for many designers. Creating individual CSS code for each screen size is not practical. Instead of adding unnecessary breakpoints, utilize media query for specific breakpoints when the layout starts to break. And now if you look at your option, you will be able to get extra new option which is called captions. And there you can see it is named track1. So you can change that again. Okay? For that, again, you can provide label attribute and there I am giving English. So that label will help user to know like what kind of caption you are expecting. You can also provide other attributes such as kind where you can provide different values such as captions, chapters, descriptions, metadata, subtitles. So it's our captions. So let's keep that captions. And also you can provide another attribute source lang which represents the source of your language that you are providing for your caption. In our case it's English. So you can give their ISO language code where EN represents that English language. Now it's time to add styling for our captions with CSS. For that, within your standard CSS file, for the video element, you can provide their Q pseudo element or we don't need that video element. So you can provide their background, so it's in certain property. So related to background, you can apply each and every property. But for now, I just want to give background color. Let's give this black color with some transparent value. And for our text color, let's give yellow. In your browser, did you see that? You will be able to get that transparent background color along with that yellow text color. For now, I just want to keep that same white color for our text. Now it's time to manipulate our caption file. For that, I'm creating another separate VVT file for our caption and subtitles. So let's change that source of our caption file. Now it looks something like this. Now if you are familiar with HTML code, in order to give bold text, you can take the B tag. So same goes here. I just want to make our channel name to bold text. So I am wrapping with this B tag. And interestingly, you can style that bold tag with the help of CSS as well. How? Let me show you. You can take the same previous approach with that Q pseudo element and you can give bracket. Within that, you can pass that B tag and let's change color, font width and font size. For font size, I'm giving there 4 rem, but practically you won't give that high number of values. It's just for the experiment purpose. And all this CSS property can be given for Q as well. In your browser, did you see that? You'll be able to get that green bold text, which is your captions. Similarly, you can use other text formatting tags of your HTML, such as I tag for italic, U tag for your underline, you know. And all these elements, they can be styled, same as that B tag. 
now this is that in your caption you will be able to get underline text and also that italic text similarly if you want to style any specific text you can use class similar to that html code for that we need to provide our class tag which is represented by c and in order to provide any specific class name you need to give their dot and your class name so for this subscribing text once again you can take the same code and bring it down there now instead of that b tag you can provide their dot i'm giving that same class name subscribe and let's just give the background color and that text color in your browser did you see that you can see these two caption text they are voice of different people so we can separate these text dialogues based on the person's voice so in order to do that you can provide their v tag and within that you can provide name of person in our case it's rose voice so i'm giving their rose and just down there let's give another v tag it's a voice of alex so let's give their name alex now we can style these dialogues separately how let's see Again, within that Q pseudo element, you can pass V. Within that square bracket, you can give voice is equal to rows. So now I'm styling voice of rows. So if you are familiar with HTML and CSS code, it's pretty simple. For voice of rows, let's give the text color of crimson. You can duplicate the same code. And for our Alex voice, we'll give the text color of yellow. And in your browser you can see when it comes to rose boys you will be able to get that crimson color text and as soon as when you hear alex boys you will be able to get that yellow color text similarly you can modify other settings within that vvt file as well which is also known as q settings so within that same line where we have given their time code duration you can provide a line and i'm setting it to left so that will help you to bring your caption to the left side and for our alex boys let's bring it to right side and in your browser did you see that but by default that alignment that is set to center similarly there are other settings such as positions line size I'll give you the link in the description you can check out where you will be able to go deep dive into it and interestingly you can cut this whole CSS code and use it within that same VVT file as well. How? First of all you need to give their style keyword and just below that you can paste that code and it works. Similarly if you want to give comments within that VVT file then you need to use their note keyword within that same line or in new line you can give any extra text for comment. Now let's take it back. Okay I just forgot this one is important okay. If you want to provide time code duration for any specific word in that case within that bracket you can provide that time code you can wrap that text. So why is it necessary if you want to achieve 100% accurate result then you need to do this. Now let's talk about subtitles. So you may be confused like isn't it captions and subtitles the same thing? If you talk about captions, captions provide an accessible way for viewers who can't hear audio to watch video whereas subtitle provides an accessible way for speaker of any language to watch video. So now we need to provide multiple languages for our same English subtitle. For that you can duplicate the same track code and for the kind. Now instead of that caption, now we need to change it to subtitles. And for our source language, let's give GH, it's because we are providing Chinese language so now let's change that source of our file as you can see i have already created four different subtitles based on different languages such as chinese hindi arabic urdu so let's keep that different subtitle for different languages let's do that so now based on the language i'm changing the source of file along with different attributes Now in your browser did you see that you will be able to get different languages and you can choose any specific language as you prefer Now before wrapping up this video, you can provide gradient color as your background color and on your screen I'm giving you different CSS property that you can apply so you can check out. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did learn something, smash that like button. If you have any kind of queries, let me know in the comment box. Share this video if you think someone needs it. And also, if you haven't already ate, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell icon. Remember, there is always more to learn, so keep learning.